Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February the 12th of 2020. Well, it is titled Star Trails of the North and South. So what do we see here? Well, if you were to take a camera and point it up at the sky and leave the lens open for a while, you would see that the stars appear to move and that they make trails in the sky. And this is not because the stars are moving. The stars rise and set, which is the for this motion because the Earth is rotating. So the Earth rotates from west to east, making the stars appear to rise in the east and set in the west every day. Now they don't all move exactly the same. The celestial sphere, the great sphere of the sky, uh, will make things move a little bit differently depending on where stars are located. At the central portion we have the celestial equator that's the dividing line here between stars that seem to arc in different directions. If you notice if you look towards the upper right and then towards the lower left the star trails are not exactly straight they're actually curved and could we see a complete image of it you would actually see that they're making circles around a central point. The celestial equator is the dividing line between the northern and southern hemispheres of the sky, just like the Earth's equator is the divider between the northern and southern hemisphere on the surface of the Earth. So the celestial equator divides those and to the upper right side here would be the north celestial pole. So central to that would be the star Polaris which is not visible in this image. But you would be able to watch if you would take a picture pointing towards the north celestial pole, you would see all of the stars making circles around that and the pole itself remaining still in the sky. Now off to the lower left you would see the south celestial pole and it's the same thing if you could take a picture of the south celestial pole you would watch all of the stars making circles around it. The closer the stars are the smaller the circles and the further away they are the longer the circles. So we're becoming bigger and bigger circles that we see here and we're just seeing small arcs of those circles in the images that we're looking at today. So the poles are sort of the fixed points in the sky around which everything appears to rotate similar to the way that the north and south pole on the earth remain stationary and the rest of the earth rotates around that axis that connects those two poles. So here we see the projections on the earth up onto the sky, the celestial equator being the projection of the earth's equator onto the sky. The north celestial pole is the projection of the earth's north pole onto the sky and the south celestial pole is the projection of the Earth's south pole onto the sky. Now if you notice the south celestial pole is actually down below the horizon and it never rises from this location being taken north of the equator. Were you to do a similar picture south of the equator it would be the other way around. The south celestial pole would be visible in the sky although there is no bright star to, no to note where it is and the north celestial pole would not be visible. So in Australia and in South America, as examples, you would not be able to see Polaris or any of the stars very close to the North Celestial Pole, just as those of us in the Northern Hemisphere cannot see the stars and the constellations very close to the South Celestial Pole. So that was our picture of the day for February the 12th of 2020. It was titled Star Trails of the North and South. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.